Okay, I'm gonna try to make a quick video here on how to change a needle and seat and adjust your float on a Holly carb, Holly style carb. Okay, every carb has its uh, advantages. One of the advantages with the Holly is you can change the needle seat and adjust the float height in uh, about a minute or less. And you can do it with the carb on the on there without disassembling a bunch of stuff. Carb on the car. You can do it with a 5 8 wrench and a flathead screwdriver. It's all you need. Okay. So this is a needle and seat. Okay. This little guy here is sitting in there like that. So I just put this on here and I decided I'd make a video of it real quick. So I'm going to redo what I just did. And uh, if I wanted to do this, I had a drag strip in between runs or if you're traveling on the highway and your needle and seat's being sticky. Uh, I'll show you one little trick. You got your four bolts that hold four bolts that hold your bowl on. Take out one of the bottom ones and you can drain the bowl and you can do the same thing to the back if you're doing both needle and seats. And when you're done catching all the fill, you can pour it right back in up here through a funnel or something if you want to fill your bowl back up. All right, that much being said, let's change the needle and seat. Okay? So let me explain to you what it does. This is your locking bolt. That's your adjusting nut for the needle and seat. And you're not adjusting actually the needle and seat. You're adjusting the float height with it, with the needle and seat. And there's your sight glass. Okay, so ready? Let's see if I can get this done in a minute and start it. And hopefully my tripod does not fall into my fan. That'd be a bad day for me. All right, maybe entertaining for you guys. So see if I can do this in that amount of time. Five eighths holds it. Screwdriver breaks it loose. Hopefully I can get this done uh, with keeping my fingers out of the way. Okay, there is gaskets on there. That's still there, it's on top of the bolt. I'm um, just backing out my needle and seat real quick. Uh, there's a plastic gasket there, save that. And unscrew this, pull it out. Okay, grab your new one, put it in. Make sure no old gaskets or any material like that falls in. Put the gasket, the little plastic gasket back on. I'm trying to keep my finger out of the way for you. Put this on, screw it in. And I always go to where it's a little bit below the nut height. And I start with it there and we'll adjust it when it's done. Take this, put it back in. And look at there. All I gotta do is put this on, tighten the locking nut. There. Now we just gotta start it. Needle seat was in in them few seconds. Start it, I'm gonna back that out and see where my float height is. Hold on a minute. Uh, hopefully my camera stays in place and here we go. All right, let's check the height. You want it to be at the bottom of this bolt. All right, and when I wiggle it, oh boy, I got lucky. When you wiggle it, it splashes out, it's right at the bottom. Sometimes you gotta make an adjustment. I'm done. Needle seat and adjust it that fast. All right, if, you, if I had to adjust it, all you would do is take this, hold that straight, break this loose. Let me shut the car off real quick. I don't wanna shake the camera and compete with the noise of the motor. If I had to make an adjustment, if it was too low, I wanted to raise it, you hold this, break this lock bolt loose, and I would back this up about that much, and then keep going up until you see it at the bottom, okay? Um, if you have to break this loose, and you're gonna do it while it's running, you're gonna have a little bit of gas come out of here, but it's not gonna be like a flood or nothing, okay? Um, you can shut the car off and make the adjustment too, but you're still gonna have a little bit of fuel pressure there. All right, hope this helps somebody.